This next maneuver is a neural flossing or neurodynamic technique that tries to glide the sciatic nerve. So anybody who's had nerve-related pain down their leg, the nerve itself can get tight or it can even stick to some of the tissues that it weaves in between like the hamstring or some connective tissue along its track. So we do this to lightly try and glide the nerve up and down. Because it's a nerve, we don't want to really aggressively stretch it because we can agitate it. So I'll show you a couple variations. You want to pick the one that feels most comfortable. I do strongly emphasize that with a nerve-related technique, you're better off feeling nothing versus feeling too much. So if you pull too hard at a nerve, it will get agitated, especially if you have a history of nerve-related pain. So keep this very light. So the first way to do it would be sitting at the edge of a table, couch, um, and off your edge of your bed. And as I sit up here, I'm gonna prop one leg up on the bed or couch or table. And I'll have my hands behind me so I can keep my back nice and erect. Now I wanna bring my chest forward, enough that I maybe feel I'm starting to get a little tension in my hamstring. Now if this is really irritated, I may have someone start off just leaning back like this to where there's no threat to causing a whole lot of pain or problems. And the idea here is that once I feel a little bit of tension, I keep my back really tall and I wanna move my foot and my head in the same direction. So as my toe goes up, my head looks up. As my toe goes down, my head looks down. So the idea is that a maximal stretch will be flexing my foot and taking my chin to my chest. So rather than pulling at both ends, I pull at one end and I put slack on the other. So that's why we call this a gliding technique because while one end pulls, the other end relaxes. And same thing, I'm not really holding, it's a fluid movement up and down. Now if this was irritating, I could bend my knee a little bit more and that would be more comfortable. So like we said, because it's a nerve, we don't want to aggressively stretch it. You want to lightly move it. I could do this for moving at my foot and ankle like I'm doing here. Or if that's too much pressure, same thing, a lighter movement would be to do it from the knee. So same idea. As my foot kicks up, I look up. As my knee bends, I look down. The bigger the movement, I usually look at that as less threatening, right? Because when my knee bends, I take a lot of pressure off this whole system. Versus if I stay up here with my leg straight, moving at my ankle, it does move the nerve, but it's not moving it through as much range. So it keeps a little bit more tension there the whole time. So if I had to grade these, I would say that the easiest one is gonna be something where the knee's bent, right? I start off just doing this kicking motion. And then something that's a little bit more strenuous on it if it feels okay, is gonna be with my knee pretty straight where I just move from the ankle. And if that's not feeling like much of anything, I can bring my chest even a little bit more forward and feel more of the hamstring and then do it. So the same thing, it's not a hold, 10 to 20, either doing it from the ankle or from the knee. Um, making sure that you stay short of feeling any increase in pain or symptoms down the leg.